Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and Miss Marvel has finally graced us with her marvelous new purple hard light powers in her new series on the DisneyPlusMan.org. As Kamala Khan's debut episode shows us how these super interesting cosmic bangles manifest powers just in time for Kamala to save Instagram's messiah, Zoe, from being murdered by a man-made Mjolnir. But where the hell do these bangles even come from anyway? Let us speculate on the possibilities together, my nerd babies. But speaking of marvelous things, you can find a bunch of cool Marvel stuff over at NewRockstarsMerch.com. And not just Marvel, we got Marvel, Star Wars, DC, and our newest latest obsession shirt inspired by Obi-Wan, and also we have a new one inspired by Miss Marvel. Should be up right now, so head on over to NewRockstarsMerch.com to pick some stuff up today because we got some cool shit. All right, so guys, I have a feeling that these bangles are definitely alien in nature, because check this out. In the first episode of Miss Marvel, we learn that the bangles actually come from Kamala Khan's nanny, or grandma who suspiciously sends them in the mail for her curious granddaughter to pick up and find and maybe put on during some type of superhero cosplay contest after leaving some rainbow gloves that a friend's own boy made for her in the bathroom. Because you know, grandmas always be prepared for any situation. But then after Kamala puts those bangles on for the first time, we see her fall into this weird trippy reality with a bunch of shadowy figures with glowing eyes watching in the background before quickly snapping back to reality just in time to snap Ant-Man's neck and then his head rolled around and almost killed a bunch of youths. However, after Kamala crashes into the ground to enter this weird plane of existence, as these people in the background stare at Kamala wearing what I'm assuming to be traditional Pakistani clothing. You know, sort of like all those people walking together on that dirt path in the Miss Marvel trailer. Which makes me believe that what we have seen in this episode is yet another example of a plane of untethered consciousness in the MCU, which the most recent MCU series Moon Knight further expanded upon after the concept was first introduced to us all of course, through Ryan Coogler's first Black Panther film. Because we've got ourselves another purple plane with people with glowing eyes who also like to rock the customary garbs of their people. Much like King T'Chaka did when he had the glowing panther eyes before transforming into his more traditionally garbed Wakandan clothes to go hug his son. This could very well be Kamala's ancestral plane, consisting of everyone in Kamala's lineage who have worn the bracelet before it was passed down to the next generation. Much like the powers of the heart-shaped herb in Wakanda was essentially passed down from one generation of T'Challa's family to the next. Now, this all being said, and seeing how Kamala's skin glows purple underneath right after she puts on the bangles for the first time, much like T'Challa's skin does when he enters the Wakandan ancestral plane, and knowing that the heart-shaped herb itself that grants the powers of the Black Panther come from a great big blue glowing meteor in the ground that struck MCU Earth thousands of years ago, there is a bit of a possibility that these bangles came from the very same vibranium meteor, possibly alongside Wenwu's Ten Rings. You know, that other MCU relic that gave Wenwu blue glow powers and has a strong connection to the alien dragons of both the comic and live action media universes. Because in the Marvel comics, of course, the Ten Rings come to the Mandarin's possession after falling from a McLuhan spaceship. And the McLuhans are, of course, a race of alien dragons within the Marvel comics, where the alien dragon of Fing Fang Foom originally comes from. And much like Wen Wu wanted to pass the Ten Rings onto his son Shang-Chi when he was strong enough to wield them, Kamala's Nani was likely making sure her family's connection to this cosmic artifact stayed intact. But we cannot forget about the original source material people, and I'm sure that the gang at Marvel Studios didn't either. Because there is also the chance that these bangles could for sure be Kree in origin, as the Kree race are pretty much responsible for Miss Marvel in the first place in the comics. For you see, a long time ago, the comic book Kree came to Earth during the course of humanity's evolution and experimented on them. You know, sort of like the comic book Celestials did, but like a little bit after the Celestials came, which allowed for the off-branch superpowered in human race to form when those who carried that special Kree gene inside of them were transformed after contact with the inhuman Terrigen Mist, a term that was of course first recently introduced in the MCU and Multiverse of Madness when introducing Black Bolt, as he is the keeper of the Kree Terrigen Mist as the loud-ass king of the Inhumans. Now, while I do not believe that these bangles directly use the technology of the green Kree Terrigen Mist, I think that there is a strong potential that the entire Khan family on Kamala's mother's side to have an incredibly strong inhuman gene. A gene 
system that these cosmic bangles can tap into to manifest that inhuman gene into this new blue, red, and purple kind of way. And that it will only be through Black Bolt's own green Terrigen Mist that these amazing looking cosmic powers will no longer need 90s cosmic bangles to tap into and manifest these powers. Because they'll then begin to manifest in their traditional big ass fleshy human hand kind of way like they did in the comics. And of course, we cannot forget Talos Nick Fury's line in Spider-Man Far From Home about Kree sleeper cells, y'all. I thought Kree having sleeper cells was top secret information. Nick. Because there could be a chance that these Kree sleeper cells are just Talos' way of saying Inhumans, as the Inhumans in the comics were originally made by the Kree race to be a race of super soldiers, because the Kree themselves could not evolve like humans could. So they experimented on human people to try to make human super soldiers to fight the Skrulls, because the Kree can't get along with anybody. But whether it's in the form of a dragon-affiliated piece of technology from a mysterious vibranium meteor, or just an Inhuman biology hijacking wristband, these bracelets are for sure mega alien in my opinion, which could be why Damage Control themselves feel like capturing Miss Marvel is perfectly within their purview, as they were of course first introduced as the true Chitauri cleanup crew in Spider-Man Homecoming. Like over the course of over a decade, Damage Control has probably become so familiar with the way MCU alien technology behaves and functions since that Chitauri invasion in 2012. And so when they saw Kamala's wristband doing all that weird shit in that video, they were like, well, more alien shit, time to go to work. But that is where I believe Kamala Khan's bracelets could come from in the MCU. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Mastertainment on Twitter if you want to see me tweet some weird shit. But more importantly, you can follow New Rockstars wherever we are on social media. But make sure to hit that bell at the bottom of this video so you can get notifications every time we upload a video. And of course, make sure to hit up NewRockstarsMerch.com to buy our newest, latest obsession shirt inspired by both Obi-Wan Kenobi and Miss Marvel. They're not gonna last forever, so pick one up today. But again, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank you.